Well, welcome to the unboxing of the Uni T209A uh, digital clamp meter. Uh, let me start, uh, start by explaining why I'm a bit damaged in transit. It, let me start by explaining why I've got a digital uh, clamp meter and why I've decided on this one. Broadly, there are uh, two ways of measuring current. Actually, there may be more, but I know two ways. One is uh, the type using your multimeter. Um, which inserts uh, uh, a known resistor inside the multimeter into the circuit and measures the voltage drop across it. And if you open up your digital multimeter, you'll see um, the resistor inside. And because it kind of bypasses through a low, low um, value resistor, it's a bit like uh, a diversion on a railway siding or a rail track siding. Uh, and it's called a shunt resistor. And that's how uh, most multimeters will measure, will measure current. But your common and garden multimeter won't go beyond 10 or 20 amps usually. The other way is to use a clamp meter. Uh, these don't invade the circuit. They're good for accuracy because there's no resistor involved, therefore there's no temperature variation to consider. And they're also good for safety when measuring high currents. Now there are plenty of cheap ones around. I've got one here. Uh, AliExpress, I think, uh, delivered this for about five or six dollars. But usually, again, two disadvantages on these cheap ones. Firstly, the range again, usually, you know, 10 or 20 amps. And then secondly, um, they only handle, well, they, they use kind of like an inverse transformer uh, technology around here, uh, a coil, and as a result can only handle uh, AC uh, currents. This beast, however, can measure up to 1,000 amps, both AC and DC, as it uses something called the Hall effect, uh, discovered by somebody obviously called Hall, who I think was an American. He, he figured out that the magnetic field surrounding a current-carrying wire induced a proportional current in a transducer. Uh, and unlike the ammeter in your multimeter, this type of measurement doesn't form a part of the circuit you're trying to measure. In fact, here is, is a Hall effect sensor, um, which I have. I think this measures up to about 20 or 30 amps. It's completely isolated, electrically isolated from these two pins here. And it senses uh, the uh, magnetic field around the flowing current and produces a proportional uh, current on the output pins. In fact, here's another one here. This is a clamp meter. This is exactly the same as this, except you've got to figure out your own measurements um, separately. But this clips over a, a current carrying cable and will measure the current. So it, it's great for high voltages because you don't have high current, so you don't have to get too close to them, um, expose the circuitry. And secondly, they're pretty accurate as well and they don't invade the circuit. But I decided. Uh, on an integrated solution and the 209A is my weapon of choice. I, uh, just for interest, before, before I got this I was measuring high current drain on my uh, radonite cells. Um, this, this one's a C6, can do 20 amps continuous and I've been bursting it up to 100 amps. I was doing it with this shunt combination here. Again, just like in your multimeter except this can handle up to 100 amps. This is a, a known value resistor. Uh, matched with a 75 millivolt maximum throw voltmeter and when 100 amps flows through this shunt the uh, voltage drop across the two terminals is 75 millivolts and yes using magnetism it throws it to the right measuring the millivolt drop 75 millivolts will give you a 100 amp reading and that's right uh, even uh, uh, even ammeters are actually voltmeters and voltmeters ultimately use magnetism to oh. Magnetism seems to be everywhere. If there's anyone still watching at this point, I'd love to know why shunt meters seem to be standardised around 75 millivolts. If anybody knows, please stick a comment at the bottom. Well, that's the unboxing. Let me summarise the specs. Not much to this, really. Um, first of all, it's auto AC and DC. You don't have to select between AC and DC. It figures it out. It's auto sensing between uh, 0 and 1000 volts uh, DC and 0 and 750 volts AC. I guess that's the uh, RMS kicking in there. Uh, on the amps you've got to select the range but it is auto sensor between AC and DC and you get a, 
40 amp, 400 amp and 1000 amp range. Like most multimeters it feeds off of a, a 9 volt uh, battery. One niggle is it doesn't have uh, min-max detection. Um, I, I got my hopes up when I saw the box. I, I didn't think it did when I ordered it but the box shows a min-max uh, button on there. And with something like this, a thousand amps, a thousand volts, you, you're probably going to be trying to measure from time to time peak transient uh, measurements and that min-max would uh, have been a, a very useful addition. Uh, but there are ways around it using high-speed cameras that I'll, uh, I'll take a look at. Now my first test ought to be a, a high current test, so I'll put that in a separate video. Uh, you can click here for that uh, video or you can click here to uh, download the manual. Uh, if you found it useful, uh, please let me know with a thumbs up.